This is breaking news. Beyond leads the 2025 Grammy Noms, becoming the most nominated artist in the show's history. Welcome to Beyonce Country. When it comes to the 2025 Grammy Award nominations, Cowboy Carter rules the nation. She leads the nods with 11, bringing her career total to 99 nominations. That makes her the most nominated artist in Grammy history. Cowboy Carter is up for Album and Country Album of the Year, and Texas Hold M is nominated for Record, Song, and Country Song of the Year. She also received nominations in a wide swath of genres, including pop, country, Americana, and melodic rap performance categories. This is her first time receiving nominations in the country and Americana categories. Previously, she and her husband Jay-Z were tied for most career nominations at 88. If Beyoncé wins the Album of the Year, she'll become the first black woman to do so in the 21st century. Lauryn Hill last won in 1999 for The Mistucation of Lauryn Hill, joining Natalie Cole and Whitney Houston as the only black women to take home the Grammy's top prize. Post Malone also received his first ever nominations in the country categories this year, having released his debut country album F1 Trillion in August. That one is up for country album, and I had some help. His collaboration with Morgan Wallen is nominated for Country Song and Country Duo Slash Group Performance. They are Wallen's first ever Grammy nominations. Malone is just behind Beyoncé, with seven nominations, tied with Billie Eilish, Kendrick Lamar, and Charlie XCX, who earned her first nominations as a solo artist. Lamar's ubiquitous diss track released during his feud with Drake, Not Like Us, is nominated for Record and Song of the Year, Rap Song, Music Video, as well as Best Rap Performance. He has two simultaneous entries in the latter category, A Career First, Future, and Metro Boomin featuring Lamar. Like That is up for Best Rap Performance and Best Rap Song. This is his third time receiving two simultaneous nominations for Best Rap Song. Taylor Swift and first-time nominees Sabrina Carpenter and Chapel Roan boast of six nominations each. Last year, women artists dominated the major categories. This year, that continues somewhat, but the main trend seems to be a variance of genre. In the Album of the Year category, alongside Cowboy Carter, is Andra 3000's New Age, Alt Jazz, New Blue Sun, and multi-instrumentalist Jacob Collier's Jess Vol. 4. Rising pop stars Carpenter and Roan rounded out, with Short and Sweet, and the rise and fall of a Midwest princess, respectively, as well as Swift's The Tortured Poets Department, Adish's Hit Me Hard and Soft, and Charlie XCX's Rave Ready Burette. Eilish is the only artist to have her first three albums become nominated for Album of the Year. Last year, Swift won Album of the Year for Midnights, breaking the record for most wins in the category with four. This year, she becomes the first ever woman to seven career nominations in the category. The breadth and the variety of genres represented in the general field feels new and really exciting, says the Recording Academy CEO and President Harvey Mason Jr. He credits an active and evolving voting body for its success. We've been very intentional in how we looked at and tried to rebalance our membership. So not just gender or people of color, different racial makeup, but also gender equity and trying to make sure that all different types of music in different regions and different locations are being represented in every way possible. Only recordings commercially released in the US between September 16, 2023 through August 30. 2024 were eligible for nominations. The final round of Grammy voting, which determines its winners, will take place December 12 through January 3. In the Best New Artist category, Carpenter and Roan will go head-to-head, -head, alongside Benson Boone, Dochi, Kroengbin, Wai Wei, Shibuzi, and Teddy Swims. In the Song of the Year category, Beyoncé is joined by Elish with Birds of a Feather, Swift, and Post Malone with Fortnite.
Rones, good luck, babe. Carpenters, please, please, please. La Mars, not like us. Lady Gaga and Bruno Mars, die with a smile. And Shabuzi's, a bar song, tipsy. Shabuzi is also a first time nominee. Is a bar song, tipsy. Is the biggest song of the year, having spent more weeks at No. One on the Billboard Hot 100 than any other. It is so popular. A remix of the track is also up for a mixed recording. Elsewhere, Shabuzi is nominated in the melodic rap performance category for his feature on Beyonce's S-P-A-J-E-T-T-I. Linda Marteau, the first commercially successful black woman musician in country, is also featured on the song, delivering the 83-year-old artist her first Grammy nomination. For record of the year, Texas Hold M will compete against Swift and Post Malone's Fort Might. Eilish's Birds of a Father, Lamar's Not Like Us, Roan's Good Luck, Babe. Carpenter's Espresso, Charlie.